Hi there, welcome to this Alchemist chemistry video looking at cracking hydrocarbons. Now, you can see in the picture there is a problem, an inherent problem, with the process of fractional distillation. Fractional distillation may not produce lots of useful, high demand, short chain hydrocarbons, as crude oil in reality is just a random mixture of different length hydrocarbons. We have no guarantee we're going to have a large proportion of those short chain hydrocarbons we need, which are very useful to us and in high economic demand. So the solution is a process known as cracking hydrocarbons. These are chemical reactions in which long chain hydrocarbons are broken down into shorter chain alkane and alkene molecules. And these molecules are in much greater economic demand. So industrially, there are two main methods for cracking hydrocarbons. The first is known as catalytic cracking. This is where we use temperatures of between 600 to 700 degrees centigrade and a catalyst that must be present known as zeolite. That's a form of alumina silicate. The other method is known as steam cracking. Now, because there's no catalyst required, um, it does require high temperatures of between 750 to 800 degrees centigrade and a higher pressure of 70 atmospheres, so slightly more vigorous reaction conditions for that method. Now, the point of cracking from a societal point of view is to meet that economic demand for the smaller hydrocarbon molecules that our society really needs because they're so useful. So the small alkanes may get used as fuels, whilst the small alkenes coming from the cracking process may get used in the manufacturing of plastics via usually addition polymerization. Now I'd like to finish with a maths problem, a common problem set in GCSE papers, an exam style question. What you're given is a molecule which is being cracked to form a shorter alkane and an unknown alkene molecule, in fact, two unknown alkene molecules. So the way to approach these questions is as follows. First thing you do is you take away the known product from the starting material. So the C22H46, we take away the known C14H30, leaving us with eight carbons and 16 hydrogens, which must encompass our two molecules. Because there are two molecules, we're going to divide that by two, meaning that each molecule present must be, have the, or have the formula C4H8, which means we have two molecules of butene missing in this arithmetic problem. I hope this video has helped you to better understand how to crack hydrocarbons and to deal with those sorts of questions. As always, guys, take care. Bye now.